Tonight, China is vowing to retaliate after the U.S. accused the country of hacking into companies doing coronavirus vaccine research and ordered its consulate in Houston to close. Now, this is a significant escalation in a growing conflict between the world's two largest economies, all made worse by the pandemic. Here's CBS's Margaret Brennan. Plumes of smoke tipped off firefighters that something was amiss at China's Houston consulate. When attempting to make entry, they were denied access to the facility. These images, which have not been verified, show people burning documents, a common practice when a diplomatic post is quickly abandoned. U.S. officials claim that Houston was a hub for espionage and that China recently escalated its theft of intellectual property from U.S. institutions. Hours earlier, the State Department ordered China's ambassador to shut down the Texas outpost by Friday. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. We are setting up clear expectations for how the Chinese Communist Party is going to behave. And when they don't, we're going to take actions that protect the American people, protect our security, our national security, and also protect our economy and jobs. An outraged Beijing threatened there may be consequences for expelling dozens of its diplomats. Tensions with Beijing have escalated since the pandemic began. Kung flu. It's a nasty, horrible disease that should have never been allowed to escape China. And President Trump's long-promised trade deal has stalled. I'm not interested right now in talking to China. China claims it is all unfair stigmatizing for political reasons. Now, sources tell CBS News that China's espionage has gotten increasingly brazen at medical facilities and universities. Accredited Chinese diplomats have even gotten caught trying to sneak into military bases in Florida and Virginia and at Houston's airport carrying fake IDs trying to help Chinese nationals board a chartered plane. Nora? Pretty brazen. Margaret Brennan, thank you.